From the heart of Manhattan, this is Classic Talk. Thank you for joining us on Classic Talk with Bing and Dennis. Today, our guest is Yong Hoon Lee, who in the last four years has a career, has shot to the top of the world of tenors in the opera world today. Welcome, Yong Hoon. Yes, it's just wonderful to hear you sing. I mean, you know. So, what are you doing right now? Uh, I'm singing at the Met for Nabucco. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just, uh, you had a performance last night? Yeah, exactly. So, what's the day <laughs> after feel like? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I mean, especially in this time, it's not really huge uh, to roll for me. So uh, it's like a normal, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, normally I sing in Don Carlo, I mean, very big role, Tosca, Car Carmen, Trovatore, something like that. And then a little bit tired, but, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, recently, in this time, so it's okay, yeah. So this one is bad. not yeah. much to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. it's okay, yeah. Yeah. Do you travel a lot? Yes, I do. Yes, uh -huh. I do. Yeah, yeah. So your home is here in New York or in New Jersey? Yeah. In this area, Recently, right? I moved to New Jersey, Palisade Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice place. <laughs> nice place. Yeah, yeah. Nice place to come <laughs> home to. It's a beautiful area. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do travel a tremendous amount. How do you balance that with a family life? You have a wife and a, one child? Yes, one recently, uh, yeah. the eight month. Yeah, first, uh -huh. first baby. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's not easy, frankly. But um, we try as much as we can we see each other. But uh, after we have a baby, uh, it's not easy to travel with baby. So, uh, but but before I have a baby, uh, my wife always traveled with me. Yeah. But in the beginning of my career, she couldn't because she was studying at a school. Mm. Also, she's a musician. She has, yeah. What kind of musician? I'm the pianist, organist, accompanist. Ah. Oh. So. <laughs> It's perfect for me. <laughs> <laughs> but right now you have to travel alone. Exactly. But that yeah. will change one day. Hopefully they can travel with you. I hope so. I suppose you use Skype a lot to keep in touch I do. while you're away. I do. I do. When you're not in New York, where are you these days mostly? Where do you do a lot of your singing? Yeah, I'm singing mostly in Europe, everywhere. Germany and Italy, and Spain, and also uh, France. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have any particular area or houses that you like to sing there better than others? You mean in Europe? Uh, yeah, in Europe or in the world. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. of course, Metropolitan Opera House, uh -huh. La Scala, mm -hmm. and Covent Garden, and uh, the German, yeah, uh, Deutsche Oper, Staatsoper, Berlin Staatsoper, and Munich. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's all nice. Yeah. Why makes them different than others? Because uh, it's so, you know, always uh, working with wonderful people, mm. it's number one important for me. I mean, it's always that they're joyful and so, they so, are, yeah, yeah. They are <laughs> all something special. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For these uh, big houses, uh, I guess, you really have the best people in the world exactly. to work there. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. As I said, your rise in the opera world has happened rapidly. Mm -hmm. Has it tremendously changed your life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I assume so. Because, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. you know, um, I made my debut uh, was a miracle. You know, uh, even if I uh, won a lot of competition in the States, nothing happened after that. Uh -huh. I had to wait for a long time, and uh, suddenly, uh, I got a call from my manager in Frankfurt, which is new production of Don Carlos. Mm -hmm. uh, the tenor can got cancer, mm -hmm. and uh, we just left two weeks before the opening night, and it's an emergency situation. And then the director he, he heard my singing, actually. So just just if it is possible, just bring him. Uh -huh. So I, uh, but you know the thing is, I only sang four act version of Don Carlo. I never, yeah, the five act. Six, no, no, and they were doing the five no, act. But I had to learn in in uh, two, weeks. two weeks acting the opening because it's a new production, and also you know act one which, as you know it's very big it's a lot singing. For the yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So it's a big challenge, but you know, I had no choice because. Uh, That's a big break. 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I got really uh, big uh, trouble financially, so uh, I, I must sing. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, sure. So uh, uh, after I came to the States to study, I was struggling with a uh, sure. uh, financial problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's true too with a lot of singers. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> and then I got big success. Then after that, and then, yeah. After Frankfurt, things came quickly. Yeah, right? like a contract, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, isn't that it changed my life? Isn't yeah. that funny? It just one, you know, break. So everybody wants you. Why can't they think about you before then? You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's good point. But yeah. <laughs> but you know. Uh, I think it's quite different between uh, winning a competition and singing a professional uh, stage. Right. It's really different, and uh, you know, it's very, uh, very lucky because was my debut was uh, very place was very good theater, and also uh, it's a new production, so mm -hmm. the, all the, the press yeah just uh, focus mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a wonderful opportunity. Were so you very nervous? I mean, yeah, yeah, I yeah. was. Yeah, of course. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but Don Carlo, that has remained with you and probably will for many years. That Have you sung that more than anything else? I would say, yeah, Don Carlo, it, it's my destiny. I mean, because I start with Don Carlo, and then I sing after that. So many places they ask me, Don Carlos, Don Carlos. So it's kind of, you know, that some people call me, uh, the Don Carlo Lee. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don Carlo Lee. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. good. You don't get bored with it, do you? Oh, the Never. music is fantastic. So, even if it's uh, sometimes you know uh, um, the original version without cut, its only running time is around five hours. But the music—it's really masterpiece. So I never get boring. You've yes. always done it in Italian because it's often also done in French. Um, and I think you have a French one coming up, is that right? Exactly. No. <laughs> Where will that oh, be? Oh, gosh. Where will that be? It's a uh, Vienna Staatsoper uh -huh. and coming in April. This coming year. April? Next year, yeah. Will be a little strange to sing the same opera in a different language, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's beautiful um, music. We, we uh, have another new music. I mean, for example, what with Filippo? We don't have it in Italian version. It's actually different, different music. Yes. 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 And also uh, the little duet uh, with Rodrigo before. Mm -hmm. We have a little more. Yeah. So it's very. Those are very beautiful. Yeah. And then text also. You know. That'll be good. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of jumping in for Don Carlo, you mm -hmm. did the same just recently with the Met in Japan. Mm -hmm. And that came on short notice also, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that was, was different because you had done it already at the Met once, although a different production. Yeah, it was different production. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I just, I, I was performing in Roma, La Battaglia di Legnano, which is also Verdi. But it's kind of a known opera. It's only Verdi, but it's a beautiful piece. Uh, that was new production in, in Roma. At that time, I got a call from the Japanese Opera House, uh, but uh, it was impossible to join because um, uh, you I had break to. Your yeah, contract, right? yeah, yeah. I had to uh, work in Roma. But uh, in Japan, they want me to come over a little bit earlier to, because I need to do a rehearse. Right. So uh, they asked to uh, the people in Rome, and they said, we cannot find a tenor because it's unknown. It's not Tosca, it's not right. a Bohem. Right. So uh, the final decision was, they said, OK, just do it. Uh -huh. Whatever you want to do, just do. And uh, after finish it, just come over to. At Japan, so without uh, dress rehearsal, I performed in Japan, and it was. Very it was good. very good. I was <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, very well. It. You know. <laughs> it was wonderful. It's very wonderful, a special experience. Yeah. So you know, uh, after this Don Carlo, this mm -hmm. opera, what's the next one that you really wanted to do? Well, uh, I love more all uh, Verdi operas. Mm -hmm. uh, it's beautiful, so very healthy, 
to sing. Right. Yeah. Right. So I, uh, the next thing is I will sing Barlo and Mascara and also uh, Trovatore at the Met, mm -hmm. also uh, 2015 and 16. <laughs> yeah, I know. And um, mm, have you done Rigoletto? Rig no, not no. because my voice is a little bit um, heavy to do this. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I can do it, maybe if I have a chance. <laughs> okay. Okay. This voice, you, you describe it as a little heavy. You do the real spinto, spinto, spinto yeah. which is I one notch see. in weight up from a, you know, a lyrical. Mm -hmm. um, is, was that just a gift? Did you, have you always had that voice, or did you work incredibly hard to develop, or did you just open your mouth and... <laughs> <laughs> I love to say I just opened my mouth and it's coming <laughs> but it's not true yeah. yeah I work hard with my voice teacher and uh, yeah God gave it to me and then I work hard with my voice teacher and then s in a certain time it, it, it came out at what age did you know that you had something special there you know what I, I start to sing kind of a little bit late you know it, it age in 21 oh, because I, yeah. I, I was studying for uh, theology mm. and uh, a business administration. Mm. Where was this? In Korea. In Korea. Korea. Yeah. At the point, uh, I was one of the course members in my, my, my church mm. and uh, I wanted to sing better. So I had a friend who was studying in music conservatory and I asked to have a lesson from him. And after the lesson, he suggested, you must sing. Right. Why don't you be a singer, right. a professional singer? Right. So after I heard the, the, the message from him, my heart was beating uh -huh. because I loved to sing. Right. So I, I, I was lucky because I, I had a very good teacher, uh, Professor uh, Pe. We worked together, cause w but uh, we, we didn't have enough time because only five months I had before the audition in Seoul National University. Uh -huh. It's one of the top uh, music conservatory in, in, in Korea. But amazingly, I got the highest score that right? in, in that year. So I got a scholarship and I could start to, you know, to sing. So you, your studies began in, in Seoul? Yeah. How many yeah. years did you study there before coming to America? Well, I, I graduated, uh, undergraduate student in four years. And then the interesting is after the graduate, and I passed two years, and I, ha I had to quit to sing. Really? Yeah, because uh, it's hard to explain, or but uh, it's a long story, because I... I got hurt so much in this singing business by the broken relationship. Uh -huh. So I, I decided myself, I, I had to leave, and I never, ever come back. Wow. Oh. And and it, you know, it's kind of you know singing is my life, mm -hmm. and it's total ruin, and mm -hmm. my life. So, believe it or not, I was. Uh, hundred or almost hundred kilogram, my weight. Oh really? It's a big guy. Okay. And I, I lost in one month, it's like sixty kilogram. How did you do that? Cause you know I, I I didn't eat, and I just got sick. You were so depressed. Yeah, depressed. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, but uh, I'm Christian, and my my Lord support me and healed my body and my soul, everything. So I really. It completely, you know, changed my life, and I thought after that, I really, I really thank to God. I, I really want to do something for Him. So in my mind, I want to be like a missionary or a pastor or something like that. But I need to have a permission from Him, because I felt already, you know, I, I, I got mistake before, so. I didn't want to make a mistake again, so I prayed him, to, to him, and please let me know the way, what should I do for next. 
I want to do something for you. Mm -hmm. And then in my pray, I could hear his voice. It was my first experience to hear from him. And he said, I create you as a singer. When you sing, I'm so happy. And it brought huge encouragement mm -hmm. and it changed my life and I could restart to sing. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, kind of, it's kind of big guarantee by my Lord and then he blessed yes. my singing life yeah. mm -hmm. and then now I'm here. Mm -hmm. and so so what, what did you do to start singing again? You it was very difficult because, you know, because my muscle, you know, I haven't sing for a while. Mm -hmm. And also, financially, as I told you, uh, it was very, very, very difficult. I, I almost tried to give up, and but uh, my God sent wonderful people around me. I called angels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the, my, for example, my my voice teacher, he he said when I tried to give up to sing, he said, "Don't give up. I will give you." Uh, um, Arthur Scholarship, my, my voice teacher, his name is Arthur Levy, and he said, I will give uh, Arthur Levy's scholarship So, until when you get a, a professional uh, right. debut mm -hmm. somewhere. So I received uh, his lesson for free mm. for two years. Mm -hmm. But you didn't know him before you came to New York. You yeah, met I, him I, here. Actually, in Manis, where uh -huh. I studied right. in New York, Manis College of right. Music. Sure. Yeah. How were you able to come from Korea to New York? How did that come about? Actually, I sent my uh, singing CD, uh -huh. and I passed, and then I, I could come over uh, here and make an audition, and I got a scholarship. Mm. <laughs> See. That's luck. And so without uh, a lot of money, I could restart to study mm -hmm. in New York. Right after you finished in, in Manus, then mm -hmm. what's next did you do? And I, I just... Uh, applied for a lot of competitions, lot of competition. and I, I got all first prize. Is that right? And, 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 but, but nothing happened, you know, professionally. Mm -hmm. And finally I met uh, my wonderful manager, mm -hmm. uh, Arlen Green and Bruce Zemski. Uh, there are another Andrews. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I could get a big support from them. So, um, I could start my career. Actually, you know, for a while, I I couldn't have anything. But uh, uh, one day, um, the director from Chile, Santiago, he came to uh, New York uh, to audition. But uh, uh, I just sang for a couple of hours for him. And then he said, do you know Don Carlos? I said, no, I don't know at all. <laughs> Uh, we are doing four act version of Don Carlos, and we only left uh, uh, less than two weeks. So um, uh, could could you do it? So I I, I had no chance. So I but I must uh, take it. Right. So I learned it uh -huh. entire opera in uh -huh. two weeks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> four act version of Don Carlos. So I made my debut in Chile. Uh huh. It was big success. Right. And then after that. I could made my European debut in Frankfurt. Yeah, five Frankfurt. version of Don Carlos Frank version. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Frankfurt. It was a uh, uh, David McBeaker's production. Yeah. Do you have different management for Europe, or is also no, same. the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you really are on your way. <laughs> 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 so now you can probably say yes and no to people now, right? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's a wonderful feeling, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have uh, tenor idols that you have listened to a lot, say past and present singers that you... Yes, I do. Who are they? <laughs> who would they be? Uh, Caruso. Caruso? Enrico uh, Caruso. Yeah, uh -huh. it's a master for me. And also uh, Franco Corelli. Mm. The number one is uh, uh, Caruso. Caruso. When you In listen Franco. to him, what kind of things do you... You, you don't want to copy, of course. You don't want to be like him. But you, what do you take from him? The the voice itself, or the the style, or combination of everything? Yeah. First of all, technique. I mean, I never met him personally, but through the music, I can hear he's singing from heart, mm. and uh, very 
uh, noble, not just about a, s a sound, and the musically, so it's beautiful. So I can, you know, have have uh, some wonderful idea from his singing. So, do you f do you think the time period, because it's, that was a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. so it's really different now, you know, as far as singing, what you know? Frankly, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Then do you think mm -hmm. somehow along the way something is missing, or you think is it getting better? Well, <laughs> very very uh, difficult questions. Yeah, I mean, as a singer, I also I'm a actor, so I want to do both very well, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I cannot. Uh, uh, Make it separately. It's it's all, all in together. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah in, all one. in one. Yeah. Yes. But uh, I think uh, uh, the old singers, they just bet hundred percent for singing. That's right. And recently, we also we must. It's like a fifty-fifty. Yeah. And we, I, I not better say fifty-fifty. It's it's one. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. through the good good acting, it it can make. Make you beautiful, sing better. Beautiful, yeah, yeah, exactly, and and also you know beautiful singing can make better sure, your emotion sure. and uh, acting. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll bring so out a lot of your yeah, emotions exactly. and everything. Yeah. So I I'm working on every every day. Mm -hmm. But uh, do you have an acting teacher? I do not have, but uh -huh. uh, uh, I learned very one uh, the important thing. From someone I, I forgot his name, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. But uh, uh, he said, "You always try to w when you try to act. You always try showing your acting to the people. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. You just into it in your your role and act naturally. Right. Just right. express what you feel. Mm -hmm. In other words, you don't want to." To use that word, act. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's natural. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you bring the audience to you. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So there was a. I'm sure stage directors mm -hmm. deal with that with you. Have you had? Well, you mentioned this one person, but you've had stage directors who were particularly good at working with you to bring out such things. Yeah, you, you mean the name? Sure. If you yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> so sorry. Uh, uh, I, I have. Yeah. In uh, Netherlands Opera House, yeah. I sing Carmen. It's uh, um, um, Carson. Ah, uh, of course, uh, Robert. Uh, yeah, Robert Carson. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's fantastic, really. And also David McVicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Good it's people. really incredible. Carmen. Now that's quite a uh, Don Jose. That's quite a role to sing. Yes, yes. You'll be singing that at the Met sometime, right? Yeah, next season. Next season. Next yeah, season. Yeah. Oh, great. How do you do? You prefer that to Don Carlo, or are they they're just different, or how do you feel about singing Don Jose vocally? Well, um, of course it's different, but um, there's a lot of physical uh, the movement in in Carmen. Also, yeah, Don Carlo we do have, but especially we have fighting and mm -hmm. you know a lot of right. more action. passion. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's... Hold on to that thought. Unfortunately, we have to take a break. But oh, yeah, yeah, we, we will sure. come back yeah, right yeah. here. Okay. We are here in Classic Talk with Bing and Dennis. We're speaking with Young Hoon Lee today. Classic Talk with Bing and Dennis.